Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Weed Weaver's Kittle. I am here to do one of Julie's tags. Hi, Julie. Hey guys, so I'll try and do this tag video as, um, as in a short time as I can. I started this tag already and I'm just rambling and rambling and rambling. So I'll get to this as I can. Uh, this tag is done by Julie at the Country Cottage. And I will put a card to her original video up in a card. Um, she... I did answer most of her questions within the comments, but I also decided that I would love to do a video about this. Um, there are eight questions, and um, I just wrote them down as I listened to them. <laughs> so, let's get into this. Uh, number one, do you live in the suburbs, the city, or the country? I live in a in the country but although i live in town which is a small town uh well maybe a large town i don't know a medium-sized town and um the closest city to us is six hours south of us um where i live i'm considered in the far north although we're not really in the far north <laughs> but i guess because um the highway that comes up to here only goes maybe another four or six hours more north of us. And then it's fly-in only communities. So um, I definitely live in the country though. Uh, where I work is definitely in the country. I travel an hour and 15 minutes by highway. Uh, most of it is gravel into the woods. And uh, there is no south service, so I'm completely off. The cell service grid from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, we also own 32 acres of uh, off-the-grid land. And it's um, kind of not quite halfway from town to my work, but um, pretty much halfway there. And it's also off the grid. Uh, the cell service cuts in and out on the land, depending on how the weather is, which is weird. <laughs> But if somebody would come here, they definitely say that we live in the country. Um, favorite flower is number two. I love lilacs, um, but basically I love any wild flower. Uh, tiger lilies, lilies. Um, I love the domestic carnations, like in the gardens. Um, basically, I'm not picky. I just love all flowers. But probably my favorite um, are lilacs. And I really love snapdragons too. They're really pretty. Um, number three, do you have pets? And if so, what kind? At the moment, we have no pets. I used to own mice and hamsters. <laughs> that was many years ago. And fish. Um, but not anymore. We did take in a stray cat one time. Uh, the stray cat used to come to our door like every day and we'd feed it and then finally we decided well let's just keep the cat obviously it's not really anyone's cat if they're you know if this cat is outside for like two three weeks straight so we took in the cat we um bought everything for the cat and then one day we got a knock on the door and um yeah it was neighbors looking for their cat so that was sad sad moment um besides we're allergic to cats and um it's kind of a good thing anyway because we're allergic so um yeah well we would love to have a dog one day if we had ever moved to the land or to the lake we definitely would love to have a dog or two um, number four, do you have a reborn, oh, do you have a reborn and how many? <laughs> yes, I do have reborns. How many is quite a lot. I've been telling people that I have over 50. <laughs> um, 
what I do is I have most of them in baskets and they are covered up and I have two to three to a basket and I kind of hide them like I have like three baskets I have an end table behind me I have an, a basket on top and two underneath I have one underneath here a basket with two reborns I have a basket over in that corner I have two sitting on the floor I have two in that basket <laughs> and there's more <laughs> yeah I just kind of hide them around I was covered up in baskets but I do have a main display and I change out the babies quite often so um, I get bored kind of quickly uh, if I have the same baby oh and I completely I also had up here two little mini reborns this is one fairy reborn her name is Nevea and she she is so beautiful I forgot she her and Nina this is Nina she is more fantasy and her hair is messy because I took off her bonnet but this is Nina she has fantasy markings on her and on her legs uh, and her hair is actually long enough where I can put little tiny pigtails uh, start coughing there but yeah I forgot and normally they're sitting up on there my little bookend um, I keep them in I make like a bed nest out of all it is is a crochet like bag and I just roll it down and I had this centered oh I see a little this is little mini puddle for my mini I also have a very mini silicone in that pink box and normally I have the two of them like this in their nest and most of the time I have them covered up like this to keep the dust off them but Aren't they sweet? My two little fairy girls. So, yeah, normally they are up on that bookshelf. Um, I also have more displayed, like, seating up on a shelf in my bedroom. I have videos of that. Um, so my family is home right now. I can't really roam around too much. But um, I do have a lot more in the bedroom. They're either sitting up or I use those uh, shoe shelves and I use them as like a bunk bed kind of. I have like three tiered and uh, yeah. And I also have more of these kind of um, like boxed shelves, I guess, with <laughs> different reborn sitting up in those two. So yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot. Um, I did try to downsize many times and I can never s either sell the dolls or, um, I have sold a few and I really regretted the decision. So I think the best thing for me is to, um, just, you know what, I can't afford these when I retire. There is no way. So I would rather just kind of hang on to them keep some in storage and keep rotating them um you know how they do in daycare they kind of like bring out some toys and then the next month they bring out new new toys and it's kind of like oh we have new toys even though they're not really new toys yeah same idea same concept <laughs> um my favorite color number five um i love light pink and light blue uh sky blue i love it pink and blue are my favorite colors although i love all like easter colors those pastel colors they're so pretty um what is my favorite animal number six um it has changed through the years i remember going through a phase where i really loved wolves um and then 
years after that i was having a phase of where i loved tigers and then there's a phase and i really loved elephants um but now i think now that i'm growing older and i know it's just a mythical creature but i really love the mermaid the mermaid is my favorite um number seven do i prefer sleeping or awake babies i also went through phases of where i preferred sleeping and then i went through a phase of when i really enjoyed the awake and now i appreciate both and um it all depends on my mood uh sometimes i really like the open eyed more interaction but the sleeping ones are so peaceful so calming and they're so cute they're so adorable um and if i take them out not that i do but say if i would i would definitely pick a sleeping one for the realism more um and the last question do you prefer boys or girls uh when i first went into this hobby my intention was to get three <laughs> of tops three tops <laughs> and they would be girls because i never had that girl i never had that daughter i have three real sons and i never had a chance to have that little girl and i really wanted that um and then there came an opportunity when um see i i went through phases during collecting throughout the years i've been collecting since 2015 um not as long as some people but long enough to know that when i first started coming into this hobby i really wanted different um like aspects of the reborns like rooted hair i wanted three-quarter limb i wanted full limb i wanted um reborn with a belly plate I wanted um, combination hair. I wanted a full vinyl body reborn. I wanted, um, I only have partial silicone. One day I would love a full body silicone, but I wanted to try them all. And the first reborn that I really, really liked was a boy reborn. He was up for sale with a belly plate. And that is actually the Serenity by Lorelei Eagles. And it's a sculpt that I really, really loved. And I thought, okay, well, I'll buy him as a boy, but when he comes, I'll probably change him to a girl. But when I got him and opened him, the memories of having my sons came back, and it was, it was a different experience. And it was very calming and relaxing. And so I thought, now I'm going to keep him as a boy. And I really love the boys. And I do have um, portrait babies of all my three boys. So I became to appreciate the boys again. So I do, I I don't know, I prefer them both. I just look at their face. There have been a few dolls where I have changed boy to girl to boy to girl. But some dolls are definitely girl and definitely boy for the rest of me owning them but anyways i see that my time is getting short uh sorry for the ramble this is a lot of fun julie thank you for the questions um yeah i have some news but i don't know if i should really say anything yet <laughs> um Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to end this before I just ramble on some more. <laughs> so anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. It's finally shining. Uh, the sun is shining. It looks so beautiful. And it's warming up. What's up with this weather? It's kind of crazy. It? But anyways, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, bye, guys. Love you. Match hand. Match it, guys.